Hey friends, the day has finally come. I am doing another tool video, Vicarious. I know again, next to nothing about this song. I've deliberately steered clear of listening to tool as we start to explore more of their songs. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is super spooky. It's giving me like, I'm alone in the woods and I'm about to get attacked by like a Dementor or something. <laughs> visuals. That entry really caught me by surprise actually, where they brought bass and lead guitar in at the same time which usually you know in a traditional rock song probably doesn't happen they might kind of introduce a bass or something else first before to kind of build those layers but they've just gone bam here's a lot of layers all at the same time and then I think we just started to hear a little glimmer of some some nice percussion there sounds like a xylophone or something <laughs> I just stopped before an epic drop is obviously coming. So this entire introduction has just been vamping on the same chord, the same note. Now knowing a little bit about Tool, it wouldn't surprise me if that note was a D. I've got my keyboard here. Let's test this theory. Let's see if it is actually a D. It is. <laughs> Nice. Wow. Okay. Obviously incredible drop happening there. We can just imagine a crowd losing their absolute minds at that point and just moshing their hearts out. Super cool. Um, we're still in D, like we haven't had any changes in chords or, or anything, but I'm drawn in and I still want to listen, despite there being no chord progressions really happening at all. Why? Because again, incredible, incredible instrumentation, incredible playing happening. love Maynard James Keenan. Firstly, we've got that classic tool thing where the vocals are quite down in the mix. So I don't know if you saw, but I suddenly was kind of like, was that Maynard? Did he just come in? Really turned him down. Hard to tease out his entry super clearly. He is singing through gritted teeth here. There's a lot of compression, a lot of tightness uh, that he's creating in the vocal tract to deliberately make his sound, I guess, like tense and angry. Let's have a look at Maynard's vocals in isolation so we can really hear what he's doing. I own the TV cause tragedy thrills me. Whatever flavor it has. 
happens to be like you. Can you hear how tight his voice is there? It's almost like he's being choked, right? I on the TV, cause tragedy thrills me. Whatever flavor it happens to be like. If he didn't do that, it would sound something like this. I on the TV, cause tragedy thrills me. Whatever flavor it happens to be like. Completely different. The tall army will hate me for poising, for poising, for poising. For poising. Tulami will hate me for pausing, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the vocals and I want to have a look at what they sound like in isolation. It happens to be like you by the husband, drowned by the ocean, shot by his own son, she was the poison in his tear. So we've got that really cool, like, megaphony effect happening underneath Maynard's vocal there and I'm trying to work out why killed by the husband drowned by the ocean shot by his own son she used a poison in his tea those lines which sound like I guess news headlines really like killed by the husband or like you're listening to a news announcer reel off all of these depressing news items Cool little nugget tucked away in there. Nice work, tool. Uh, those lyrics just stood out like a sore thumb for me and I'm not a lyrics person at all because I need to watch things die from a distance. Vicariously, I live while the whole world dies. Those lyrics stood out because all of a sudden I've got this massive shift musically, everything has suddenly changed. So these lyrics just pop out and slap me in the face. <laughs> I need to watch things die. They are making sure that they underline and highlight the crap out of that. So you really remember those lines by making sure that the drums hit all of those words too. So he, the drums are going, bam. I need to watch things die. Everyone, the guitar too, everyone's hitting those notes at the same time. So it really is the big message of the song. The drums, oh my god.
a lot just a lot just happened there really interesting change in Maynard's vocal line suddenly the melody was quite different on that like why can't we just admit it line let's have a listen to what that sounds like why can't we just admit it why can't we just admit it how cool is that wow uh so he's so close to the mic to to sing that so we've still really brought along that strangled vocal quality from the beginning of the song. I on the TV quality. But now he's really close to the mic and he's whispering it. Whack it. There's, there's a little bit of that ASMR kind of quality happening by that whisper into that microphone. Whack out. We just admit it. Yeah. was so strange that vocal there let's just take a moment to be completely in awe of how incredible the drumming is in this song like holy crap danny must by the end of these concerts just be like a pool of sweat on the floor like the amount amount of work that he has to put into this and god it's just so good we have basically the return of that theme from the vocal line at the start the I on the TV, da, 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 that theme, but we've kind of just taken snippets of it and just like made random bits like staccato, like really short and detached and then taken them away and then brought them back in again. Let's have a look at what that sounds like just with Nude by himself. That sounds so, so unsettling. There's also some really interesting recording effects happening underneath that. I think on that like megaphony line that we heard earlier, it's kind of come back. And I think they may have like recorded it backwards or looped it in a way that makes it sound really like super creepy. Can you hear that sort of sound? very very strange vocal line i haven't really heard anything like that before it's so um it's really theatrical actually and if i'm like going off this theme of dystopia world ending song probably coming to a close it sounds like he's actually starting to die himself like those are the last sort of gasps of air that he's stabbing out there with each last breath very cool as a as a theater nerd I really rate that. I think that's pretty cool. Death rattle.
gone back to that soundscape that we had at the start of the song and in that return of that xylophony sound. And he's returned to the womb. All right, so you saw my face there. I was like, I really thought the song was coming to a close and then it just kept going. I was not expecting those drums to come in when they came in and really bring that whole song back to a really exciting build again. I, I think this goes to show you that I, I can literally never predict what Tool will ever do. And when I think that I can, I'm always completely wrong. I love that Maynard it always like whips out this like super high note that just sounds like he could do it standing on his head. Really amazing stuff. Let's work out what that note was. Okay, so it was an A. It reminds me a bit of Sober, S Sober because it's in that same tuning that um, dropped D tuning. So is this one that sets Maynard up for a nice top note, which is always going to be a top A. And he just, he just nails it. It's just so easy for him. So it's a really good choice of key. It's like that key fits him like a glove. What an abrupt ending. The, the drums were building and building and building and building and building and suddenly they just completely cut out to nothing. For me, the biggest thing in this particular song as well is just the drums. Danny, oh my God. Like, I'm not a drummer. I know, I know very little about what goes into to drumming, but I can tell that so much effort and so much fin finesse and technique went into that. I love the way Maynard has so many colors that he can access in his voice whenever he wants to. And he does it really skillfully and very deliberately. Everything's a deliberate choice for him. That strangled vocal quality, loosening things up a little bit so he can hit those top A's, but it still sounds really anguished. Just a really, really incredible band. Thank you so much for the recommendation. I'm really looking forward to discovering more Tool songs with you. And if you liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all of the things. And if you have any suggestions for other songs that you would like us to have a look at, then let us know in the comments. Thanks so much.